"'Tis now the very witching time of night, foils and ghouls, the time when ghost stories are told." Hey everybody, this is Tommy. I'm one of your guides with American Ghost Adventures, and I just wanted to take a moment to say hey to all my paranormal pals out there. I hope you're all doing okay and staying safe. I just wanted to say I really miss getting to host tours with American Ghost Adventures, and I'm looking forward to getting out there again and meeting some wonderful people and sharing some great stories about historical haunted downtown Orlando. Until then, I thought I would take a little moment with my little ghost pal here to uh, share some a particular story about a particular spirit that means a lot to me and that, who I really like to encounter on our tours. So I don't want to give too much away from the story because this, these are stories that you really need to hear in the moment in the buildings with the actual history surrounding you. But I'll tell you this much is that he goes by the name of Maximilian and he's known for being kind of a guardian spirit or a protector of a particular building down on Magnolia Avenue. And people who have been threatening or harassing in that building around him have sometimes been met with a shove from unseen hands. Ooh. But he's actually a really nice guy if you're a nice person. He actually really likes to play with the guests and he likes to play cards. Uh, in fact, I have seen him, got my little crusty dowsing rod here, I I've seen him use my dowsing rods to point to indicate whether he wants to hit or stand during a game of blackjack. And that's not all. He really likes to interact with these dowsing rods. Uh, he's kind of a ladies man. He particularly is fond of blondes. And whenever he, uh, whenever he's interacting with these dowsing rods with people, what he likes to do is he'll take them and he'll swing them around until they're touching a person's arm on the outside, on both sides, sort of giving them a hug. And I've heard so many people on, on my tours saying that when that happens, they actually feel warmth, like they feel arms around them, like they're actually being embraced. So there you go. Not all ghosts are scary. Some of them just want a hug. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting a chance to guide more wonderful people on these fabulous tours and share some interactive historical Orlando history with you guys. Until then, be sure to check out our website at AmericanGhostAdventures.com. We have tours that run all year round that you can book, and we also have merchandise that you can purchase in the meantime to just kind of help out our local business and support us. We really appreciate you guys, and um, I'm getting, I'm really looking forward to seeing you all again when we get on the other side of this whole thing. Until then, I want you to stay safe, stay healthy, and above all, stay spooky. <laughs>